this thought just came to me, so I thought I'd share it. I remember a study I had listened to on an audiobook where they took a bunch of kids with a stutter, and they found the root cause of the stutter of these seven, of over seventy percent of the kids was the parent telling the kid that they had a stutter. And so, as a parent, you're in charge of developing the mental programming of your kid, both the good and the bad. And so, I'd like to just call a reminder that when you are speaking to your kid, remember that what you say matters. That if you label them as clumsy or dumb or stupid or in this case that you have a stutter, you're just someone who stutters, then that is something that could stay with them for a long, long time. But if you do need to correct an action, correct just the action. So instead of saying, oh, you're clumsy, just say, okay, well, a a way to make sure you don't drop the milk next time is this. Because the stories your kid tell themselves will last a long time. And I want success for you. I want success. That being said, what do you affirm for your kid? Well, I got two little ones at home, like toddlers uh, under the age of three. So stuff we affirm is you're well loved. Mom and dad love you a lot. Very proud of you because, well, they're a toddler. As they get older, you can't really affirm stuff like you're a winner, you're a winner, you're a winner because obviously the world's going to show them that that's not true if they're not actually good. And I think it's important for a kid to learn pretty quick that there's winners and there's losers and if you want to win you have to try hard and if you lose that means you try harder next time on that same note some stuff we have heard with our kids is oh oh, it's really good ellie that you like challenge wow we're very proud of you for embracing that next challenge We're, we're proud of you for putting in extra effort that those kind of traits extra effort embracing challenge stuff where they can improve the process next time and embrace challenger stuff that we want to affirm and we do affirm in our family while we're on that note now that i'm getting more fired up if you drop something do you tell yourself oh i'm just a clumsy person if you sleep in do you say oh i'm just lazy or uh, if you if you eat something that's unhealthy oh i'm just an overweight person those are negative thoughts you need to ax those get rid of those those aren't helping you at all it's like a payer person on your company who's on payroll and all they do is make your life harder. If they go in there and they make the company less money, if they make the company worse, if there's an accountant in there who's just deleting the books every day or deleting a few of the transactions every day, it's just making everyone else's life harder. Your life is already hard. Life is already hard as it is. You don't need people like that. You don't need thoughts like that in your company. If it's a negative thought, ax it, get rid of it so the new you can come out and start swinging. Listen, guys, negative thoughts are nothing but an anchor to your sail, to your ship. They're nothing but chains holding back a beast. You need to get rid of the chains to let out the beast. Whatever the you is without the negative thoughts that's affirming and building whatever you want in this life, that's who the world needs. I think God gave you imagination. You can use your imagination to create the world you want, the you you want. Become that person because that's who your family needs. That's who your kids need. That's who your community needs. Become that person. Listen. If a six-year-old kid with no talent can eventually rise to make national team seven times, can eventually reach top 23 in the world, you can do whatever you want. I don't care if you're trying to be national team or be a better parent. Get rid of the negative thoughts. Affirm what you want in life and take daily action towards it. That's essentially the whole formula. You guys can do it. I hope you guys take daily action after this and get after it, guys. See you tomorrow.